Hi friends, it's Summer from the Slow Word Movement and today we are going to be in Philippians 4, 4 through 7. And at first it doesn't seem to fit the Christmas season, but I think you'll find that as we spend time in this word that your spirit will be hushed, that you'll remember um, that to bring the chaos and the um, what can be a difficult season for many people, bring it to the Lord um, and to um, just come into a mindset of how to, um, how to function well and receive the peace of God over this um, Christmas season. So I just invite you to take a couple deep breaths to get your heart and your mind ready to receive this word. Breathe in deeply through your nose. And as you breathe out slowly, think to yourself, rest. And then acknowledging that Christ is our Emmanuel, always present, but that our awareness is not always present, um, knowing that he is here. Let us pray the prayer. Come, Lord Jesus, come. Rejoice in the Lord always. I will say it again. Rejoice. Let your, your gentleness be evident to all. The Lord is near. Do not be anxious about anything, but in everything by prayer and petition, with thanksgiving, present your requests to God. And the peace of God, which transcends all understanding, will guard your hearts and your minds in Christ Jesus. This time when I read, listen for a word or a phrase that stands out to you that seems important for you at this time period. Rejoice in the Lord always. I will say it again. Rejoice. Let your gentleness be evident to all. The Lord is near. Do not be anxious about anything. But in everything, by prayer and petition, with thanksgiving, present 
your requests to God. And the peace of God, which transcends all understanding, will guard your hearts and your minds in Christ Jesus. Allow that word or phrase to just come up between you and the Lord and ask him to look at it with you. This time when you listen, I want you to listen for an invitation from the Lord. What is his word for you today? Rejoice in the Lord always. I will say it again. Rejoice. Let your gentleness be evident to all. The Lord is near. Do not be anxious about anything. But in everything by prayer and petition and with thanksgiving, present your requests to God. And the peace of God, which transcends all understanding, will guard your hearts and your minds in Christ Jesus. Allow that invitation to just come up between you and the Lord. And look at it for a moment, turning it over in your mind. Let's pray. Lord, somehow Christmas time, this gets so many emotions attached to it. We're spending time with a lot of family. We are sometimes the magicians of um, a magical Christmas and feel that kind of pressure. We have feelings that uh, are connecting to past Christmases and huge expectations.
we just bring all of that to you knowing that you desire to help us sift through all of that so that the peace of Christ can reign in our minds. I pray that you would show us how to be perfectly still in the moment, offering to you each moment enjoying the gifts of each moment. And inviting you into that present moment. Let each present moment become a spacious place in our lives this Christmas And give us the grace of open space to worship you. I pray that the seed that you've planted in our hearts and minds through the scripture would grow and would produce a harvest in Jesus Christ's name. Amen. Blessings, friend.